evening, everybody, and welcome back. Plenty to get to on the diamond with both Indiana State baseball and softball in action. But we start on the gridiron, Indiana State football, wrapping up spring ball at Memorial Stadium this afternoon with the annual blue and white spring game. It was a picture-perfect day for some football at Memorial Stadium, and the first big play would come from the defense. It's just three plays in. Maddox Blackwell intercepts quarterback Kate Chambers' pass, and he's going to return it all the way to the house for a pick six. He's going to celebrate with his teammates in the end zone. The defense was fired up as that play ended the first offensive series. Chambers and the first team offense would respond on their next drive. Here he throws one down the field and Kevin Barnett goes up and makes the acrobatic catch over the defender for a first down and that Chambers to Barnett connection strikes again a few plays later. As Cade finds Kevin up the seam in the end zone for a Sycamore touchdown to end the second drive as the Indiana State offense off to a good start. And a player to watch on the Sycamore defense is former South Million Wildcat Joey Shu. Here he gets to Chambers to record a sack in the backfield. And how about this play a little bit later from the second team offense? Former West Vigo Viking quarterback Dane Andrews throws it up and it's hauled in for the first down by DeAndre Rhodes. Overall, a great day of football over at Memorial Stadium as the Sycamores look ahead toward the start of the regular season. Up front, you know, I thought our activity up front, defensive line, a lot of guys got a lot of reps. And that's what spring ball is all about. Um, guys that have played a lot of football, really taking that next step and being uh, not a good player, but being a great player. Uh, well, hopefully that the work that I put in can speak volumes for itself. I don't want to say that I've done good or done bad, but I feel like I've definitely gained some confidence and uh, try to take the role of more of a vocal leader and be a guy that people look to when things aren't going our way and be a guy that people look to when things are going our way. So uh, definitely trying to take a step up in, in those aspects and hopefully everything else can speak for itself. The receiver room is the closest we've ever been, not just in terms of on the field but off the field. You know, we're always hanging out with each other, building that connection because that's what we need to be able to do. We need, need to hold each other accountable. And, you know, if I have a bad practice, you know, I, I, someone should come to me as a, young, as a younger guy. So it's nice seeing other guys make plays too. So, you know, when it comes down to the fall and when it, come, when it comes down to that fourth quarter, two minute, we can rely on more than two guys. So 